Hello, fellow screw going gamers. My name is Warden, and this is the behind the scenes for the rest of mountain base that I created. If you have not watched the showcase video, make sure you go and watch it. It's amazing. But anyway, let's get into the video now. Bam. This is the video for me going through the process of making the rest of thing base I made already. So this is like an extra video for you. I hope you enjoyed this extra video. Let me just give you a quick round the house and then we can explore into it. I'll, I'll explain you everything, definitely. And then I'll let's try and fight. But let me just give you a showcase of it. So yeah, this took me like quite some time to make. As I'm not a good, very good builder, but yeah. So this is like a path I made, it's just a quick thing. I added some support beams down here. I should have added some logs, but it's fine now. You know what, I'm gonna do it in the next cut, you'll see it done. And then I added this cool path, which goes around um, the whole thing. And it leads you up to the staircases, and then you just go up them. So there should be some kind of platform here. But yeah, then you go up these staircases, and then you get this nice chair that you can sit into and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful look. Now, he, the, my friend gave me the seed, so yeah, thanks to him for giving me that. And then we've got a little bit of a pot here, with some flowers in it, got some pillars, and a bit of balcony here. Again, looking over this beautiful, beautiful landscape. And then when we enter the home, we've got a small table here, a nice little rug, and then we have a bed, some storage, some furnaces, some uh, crafting table, item frame, just, that just looks though. So we'll be changing a lot of this setup to make it more of a restaurant thing. So yeah, this is basically inside the house done. Then we can go out here, we got a chest here. That could be a secret chest by the way. We could do something with that, that could be interesting. A crafting table here and then some more potted plants here with a nice little window. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this house. We also got some good attic space up here. As you can see, it's a Quite, quite, quite a nice space, right? For a stone. So yeah, this is what we'll be working with. And if you want a bowl downer, I'll give it to you down in the description. But once my friend has made a video about this, and if you just want to make a video about this, like in the couple, coming weeks, um, in a couple of weeks, I'll just give it to you anyway. So yeah, this is pretty much what we'll be working with. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Let's start the work. So I edited this part. I added some logs here that look pretty cool, right? And then I added some stripped oak. Um, that just gives it a little bit of more like lively thing. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But I think this is not a very efficient way to come up this thing. So I'll probably create something awesome that goes here. And that leads us to this base. Three, two, one, done. It is done. Um, for you, it's like a small cut. For me, it has been like two hours. I didn't record the process of me making this because it was really late at night and I didn't want to wake my parents up or anything like that. So yeah. Looks great. Look at that. Ooh okay, also yeah, I made this. This is like so you just come up here like this. On the side. Now I could have just made it like one wide and not flush and all that stuff but you know what it's pretty cool to keep it like this and then you can just quickly send this back i have not made the return stations yet but this took me quite some time and a lot of frustration i mean if you look at this <laughs> it's a huge mess here it's a huge huge mess oh yeah i, I don't want i want to catch this yeah this is pretty cool look at this and you don't see it hidden input everything is hidden uh, if you want I'll explain everything I do at the last, but yeah, let's just go and make the next thing now. Let's do a quick run through. I made everything. So let's go and then run here. This goes up. Nice. It's pretty fast as well. So I was going to make it one by two, but then I was like, oh no, that's for noobs. I can make two by two. So yeah, this is why I made a two by two machine. And now you pretty much get up here. I kind of did something wrong. And then I just come here, flap this thing, and then you can pretty much ride to your home and then jump off here. Aha! I could probably add some furnaces there. Yeah, this is pretty much the way I'll be going in and out of the thing. And you know what I want to do? I, look, I made this really cool. I made the station look like an airplane. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? But you know what I want to do? I want to make it like um, 
so uh, I can control where it goes back hopefully I can do that like this let's, let's bring it back so like that mm hmm let's see I hope you all enjoy the process so I posted it on reddit and someone was like I love the problem solving process so yeah that's why I'm pretty much doing this because I thought everyone likes this so yeah um, this is pretty much the reason seeing what you're seeing and I like to add these trap doors like just floating there because they make for pretty good um, sender like back senders you could go here and then just pretty much hit this button and go back down oh I just love this flying machine so much it's pretty pretty awesome if you ask me so look at this it's so cool you can just go up and down and you no one would ever know there's a flying machine in here it just conceals back and boom the only thing is you need to have a torch with you so I'll probably get a way to get the get the torch, like a hidden way to get the torch, and then oh my god, it's gonna be double encrypted. Haha, <laughs> cool. So yeah, um I think this is pretty much it for the entrance. I'll try and think of I'll try and get another good entrance in here. Um hold on a sec. So I've made it, it's here. Nope, it's not there. Um you pretty much will miss it if you don't know where it is. It's um yeah here. <laughs> For, for a second so yeah it's a pretty simple one you can go easy or in and out of here and then I, what I'm thinking here is I could pretty much have um, a water column going right the way to the top like whoosh just in case you don't um, have a torch no just in case you don't want to use the flying machines and they're in the wrong place somehow I don't know so yeah pretty much I'm gonna have a water column here let's get some glass Oh, this, is, this is not meant to be a hidden entrance, this one. This one is pretty obvious for you to enter this base. I mean, if you're playing multiplayer, you could probably um, hide this if you want, but I'm just gonna put it like this. I wanna make this entrance obvious because the other one I have made pretty much hidden so that you can't see nothing. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna add this one, which is pretty clear, and I'm gonna use glass. I don't care what you think. I think glass looks pretty cool in the water columns and I'm gonna use the design that I showed off in my advent calendar series which is a block swapper for my for switching between the the magma and the, the soul sand now I'm I could probably go with mumbo jumbo's block swapper corner block swapper that could work yeah I'm probably gonna use that or the one that I used in my advent calendar if you're wondering what I'm talking about you can go to my advent calendar series I think it's like day 12 or something like that. I don't know. So yeah, this is pretty much what I'll be making. Um, you know what? I could make this all live. Hold on, let, let me try. Um, apparently I cannot smell magma. <laughs> that was just a typo, don't worry. So you're gonna have magma block here by default. And then I'm gonna have to use some torches. Torches are really important. You need to have light near your redstone. Um, because then bad stuff spawns in here and then you don't know what to do So yeah, I want to make this thing like kind of uh, In every video like throw a little bit of it everywhere. Now do let me know down in the comments. What do you think of these? Um, when I make These things like the short ones the Short redstone or what, what, what I don't even know what the word is like live redstone probably So yeah, let, do let me know what you think of these I, I enjoy them a lot. I think they, they help you understand what's going on and how much time it takes to make a restaurant contraption. Um, just a second. Let's see if I press a button here. Let's switch. It will not. It needs to hit this block. Um, it's kind of difficult, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably gonna go with my design. So, yeah, I'll just quickly cut and make that. And come back. So after adding all the redstone, here's what you got. <laughs> I mean, I think this is much faster than the flying machine thing. But oh come on, that is so cool. I mean, you can't even see it. 
and it's awesome but you can see this which is not so awesome but it does not matter because coolness is important not efficiency don't mark these words <laughs> yeah um we have pretty much made the entrance what about the exit like am i just gonna be like eh. okay, yeah I, I could probably do this this is much faster than anything else that would even give this thing a function yeah pretty much gonna leave the entrance like that or you could just do this just kind of boring come here and then use this water column and go down like that and then pretty much exit in the normal way but we don't want that we want coolness which i won't add here you know what oh i have such a good idea oh my god it's gonna make so much more sense once you see it but i'm gonna make it at the end what's till the end you'll see a really cool exit bam i don't even know what i'm gonna add in here there's not even enough space we have got some space on the roof so we can probably do some kind of fancy light but that's probably something i could i could add a sleep lamp here that's pretty much um where's my lamp so i could add a sleep timer here so it, it tells you exactly when to sleep um i could oh man i could make like a secret entrance here this goes like poof no uh, you know what i'm gonna make a secret entrance using this chest um somehow without showing the input or I could make this using the crafting table. You just throw something at the crafting table, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Bam! I'm I'm on fire right now. Yeah. So yeah, come back. Mhm. Mm so it's pretty late night again. I did my studies. I had bad dinner, and now I'm gonna tell you what I've done. So this is my bedtime bedtime alarm. This is designed by Mumba, by the way. I'll leave a link down in the description to for this video. So as soon as it just goes on, we can sleep. See, um, now it, I won't be able to sleep through it because I have set the game rule to the time is fixed basically. And now then I added one more thing. It's pretty cool, right? So you see this dropper here, there was a furnace here earlier, but when you have a redstone, something like redstone, okay? See, this is empty now, but when you throw redstone in there, okay? See, it surely starts fill, filling up with diamonds. Yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, diamonds. So yeah, it's pretty fast as well. Mm -hmm. And then you pretty much just throw another restaurant dust to stop it. And then what you do is just take them out, use what you want, and then throw the rest on the floor. And then it's stored, gets stored back into whatever is in there. And you can store up to nine stacks of items. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, right? It's like a hidden chest system. But it's like next level you could you, and it's filtered by the way, you can only use redstone. So yeah. Um you got some good storage here, but I would like to expand it somehow. Um I don't really know how right now. But I can I can at least install a good light in here. Oh my god, it's two white ceiling. Ah, uh, I don't even know how to do with, deal with two white ceilings. Mm, let's see if I can make a vertical block swapper for these. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'll just start making that. Hey, hey, hey everyone. Um, really sorry I didn't record any of the other process because frankly I forgot. You know what, I could have made like an excuse like I had my microphone muted or something like that, but nope, I just forgot really. Um, I just got into making all the redstone and I just forgot about recording it. So yeah, um, we have made this. If you've seen this okay video, I don't need to show you how this one works or the light that we have installed here. And the secret entrance I was talking about is back here. Oh, why am I stuck? Come on now. So yeah, the secret hidden, uh, hidden exit, not entrance, come on. It's not even hidden right now, but it's super cool. You can just launch yourself out of here, like, bam. And like that, you just go out of here there. So if you're waiting for the end, if you watch till the end for that, that's what it is. And then we have added the shack here with some with a food farm and a super smelter and yeah that's pretty much it what we did for this video yeah again i'm really sorry i forgot to record oh yeah of course of course of course we had this turret kind of thingy which just shoots out arrows like Phew. i love this one <laughs> it's very funny to look at 
and then yeah that's pretty much it for the whole thing um yeah that's it we didn't make anything else so yeah i thank you all so much for watching everyone oh no i messed my intro <laughs> but anyways guys thank you all so much for watching everyone and i'll see you in the next one